Once you've set up your Adobe Illustrator file and you have all your palettes opened, okay, what you want to do now is go into Internet Explorer and search for an image, a photograph of a sport or activity or hobby or something that you like to do, okay? I like to go snowboarding, so I found a image of a girl snowboarder, okay? I believe this is one of the Olympic snowboarders. I can't remember her name. Lindsay Vaughn, possibly. I believe that might be her name. But I found a picture of a girl snowboarder because I like to go snowboarding, okay? The snowboarder is going to become part of my t-shirt design. Now I'm going to tell you how we convert an image, a raster image, which is a flat image, into a vector file, which is a whole bunch of points, okay? Vectors are made of points and a raster image is flat, okay? So the first thing you want to do is find that image. Make sure when you are searching for it, you search for a large file. Remember, nothing less than 1000 DPI. The quality will be better and your project will look that much nicer, okay? When you find the image you like, remember to see full size image, right click your mouse, and save it into your iDrive. Once you've saved that image into your iDrive, I want you to go to Adobe Illustrator and do a file, open, find that image, and open it in Illustrator, okay? Just like I did. Now, first thing you want to do is get that image in. Make sure you clicked on your black arrow tool so that you don't do anything to the image. Click on the actual photograph. Now, by selecting the photograph and getting these little blue points around your corners, this menu should show up at the top of your screen. Okay. Next to the button that says Live Trace, you'll see a little black triangle where the tracing presets and options are located. You want to click on that and choose color 16. Choose color 16 and wait a second. Usually the live trace on a photograph, um, especially a large size photograph, may take a couple moments. Okay, So just be patient. Watch that progress bar and when it's done you'll see it change. Okay, So this is my live traced image. Now since I only want Lindsey Vaughn here in my for my design, I want to get rid of all of this blue and snow in the background. So to do that, you want to click this expand button. By clicking expand, it separates things out. Okay? When you live trace it, everything becomes a whole bunch of points, but they're all grouped together. Okay? So it's just like if you had a pack of juice boxes. When you buy them in the store, eight come in a pack and they're all shrink wrapped and close together, right? But once you rip one open, they can all fall out and become separate juice boxes. So it's the same idea with the expand tool. When you live trace, that's just like the eight juice boxes shrink wrapped in a package. When you click expand, it's just like opening up that package and separating everything out, okay? So now, in order to get rid of this background, you want to click on the white arrow tool and just click a shape, okay? Click on click a shape and click backspace, okay? You're just going to start deleting bits and pieces. Delete the biggest parts at once. Then you're going to click and drag your mouse to get a marquee to select a whole bunch of points and hit backspace, okay? The closer you get to the body, the more you want to zoom in and really make sure that you're getting all the stray points that you don't want. Okay? And you just want to clean up your photo. Get rid of this. And this blue. You want to clean up your photo as best you can. Okay? I'm 
let's just make sure this is all cleaned up and select all of this select <coughs> all of this beautiful okay now if you notice my snowboarder has no background right so we cut it out and separated it from the background which is very cool once you do this I want you to do a file save as and I want you to save this file as an Adobe Illustrator document. So I want you to name it. I'm going to name mine Snowboarder. I spelled border wrong. I'm going to name mine Snowboarder and I want you to save it in your iDrive in your folder for this project. Okay? So you're going to click Save. Once you have it saved, okay, I want you to go on to the next tutorial. And I'm going to show you how to begin to arrange your objects that you made with the pucker and bloat tutorial and your, uh, your image that you did a live trace on so that we can start creating your design.